Is Bitcoin bad for the environment? I saw a tweet going around recently from Elon Musk about cryptocurrency's effects on the environment. And it took me down a rabbit hole. Let me be clear, this is not financial advice. It seems like you have to say that in every crypto video. Always remember not, not financial, financial advice, advice nor uh, uh, do I get it it or make these videos for financial, financial advice. And while none of this I is say, financial Katie advice, Jokes aside, it was never something I had considered or thought about before falling down this rabbit hole. I don't own any cryptocurrency and I'm not really interested in the space. So I guess I won't be going to the moon anytime soon. But that is one of the crazy aspects of this whole story. When one of the richest people on the planet is tweeting dog memes and diamond hands, it does get people's attention. And unfortunately, it got my attention. Because I live in China, and China has a big role in this whole story. So today, we are jumping into the world of crypto to see how bad it is for the environment and what, if anything, can be done to make your moon journey a little greener. Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Yvonne, and I am on a journey towards sustainability and conscious living. I often talk about environmental issues that affect the world and how China fits into that picture. So if you are interested in sustainability, hit the subscribe button and let's get started with the video. If you are a passive onlooker like myself, you probably see a few articles every few months about some new crypto millionaire and a few months or days later about a market crash. It all seems fringe and to be honest, pointless. But how much environmental damage is this pointless market creating? To understand this, we have to understand the mining process or how the blockchain is verified. This process is a little complicated, but I will try to explain it simply enough so we can understand the environmental impact. According to Investopedia, Bitcoin mining is a process by which new Bitcoins are entered into circulation. But it is also a critical component of the maintenance and development of the blockchain ledger. It is performed using very sophisticated computers that solve extremely complex computational math problems. Cryptocurrency mining is painstaking, costly and only sporadically rewarding. Nonetheless, mining has a magnetic appeal for many investors interested in cryptocurrency because of the fact that miners are rewarded for their work with crypto tokens. What does it mean? Well, a lot of people with specialized computers try to verify the blockchain, and whoever does it first wins a few tokens. This is where the problem arises, because it is a winner-takes-it-all system. Only one person or a team of people will verify the blockchain, which means everyone else fails and ends up wasting a lot of electricity. So the environmental damage comes from energy consumption, and based on where you are getting your electricity from, it can create a lot of pollution. Now that we understand the problem, we need to look at how bad it really is and how much electricity is being used in the crypto mines. According to the Cambridge Bitcoin Electricity Consumption Index, Bitcoin mining operations worldwide now use energy at the rate of nearly 120 terawatt hours per year. This is about the annual domestic electricity consumption of the entire nation of Sweden. This sounds like a lot of power, but Sweden is a small country, so we need to break it down. And that is where China comes into the picture. Again, according to the Cambridge Bitcoin Electricity Consumption Index, China accounts for about 65-70% to of all Bitcoin hash rate, which means most of the global mining is being done in China. This is obviously an estimation, but it gives us a good idea about where most of the mining is coming from around the world. But China is a big country and one of the largest producers of green energy, which means we have to break it down even further, because China is also one of the largest coal burning countries. This means we have to find where the mining operations are taking place. When we break it down, we find out that about 35% of the mining is being done in Xinjiang. And we got a pretty good confirmation recently when one of the mines in Xinjiang flooded. According to Fortune, on April 11, the first news reports emerged that the Xinjiang mine had flooded, 
trapping 21 workers underground. The miners were rescued, but over the following weekend, authorities reportedly halted production while conducting a safety check, stopping shipments to power plants and causing a blackout. By expert estimates, the hash rate, the pace at which miners run algorithms to compete for fresh releases of Bitcoin, plummeted around 35%. If this is true, then we can see that most of the electricity is created using coal. According to the Straits Times, while Xinjiang has a fast developing renewable sector, with wind turbines dotting the hills around Urumqi, it still accounted for less than a quarter of electricity generated last year. Despite China's push to greener energy, the country still heavily relies on fossil fuels. But there's hope. Last year, the University of Cambridge's third global crypto asset benchmarking study found that 76% of cryptocurrency miners use electricity from renewable sources in their operations. This figure was up from 60% from the same benchmarking study in 2018. This means Chinese miners and other miners around the world are starting to address the problem. And according to The Independent, in Iceland and Norway, where nearly 100% of all energy production is renewable, cryptocurrency miners are taking advantage of cheap hydroelectric and geothermal energy to power their machines. The low temperatures in the countries also help reduce costs by cooling the computer servers naturally. So where does it leave us? Well, it seems that cryptocurrency is bad for the environment. It is especially bad here in China. But there is hope for a cleaner future. My opinion is, at this point, it isn't worth mining because the total economic damage caused by climate change will not be offset by the few trillion dollars created by the cryptocurrency markets. I have to agree with Elon's tweet. And I hope in the future, miners will move to more renewable energy. Until then, I will have to stay grounded and wait for a greener coin to take me to the moon. What are your thoughts on it? Did you know that China was responsible for most of the crypto mining? And did you know it was bad for the environment? Do you have any cryptocurrency? Let me know in a comment because I think this is all very interesting. Thank you for watching this video and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!